Hey, what it is, man. I got the hottest DJ in the city right now, man. DJ Turn. <laughs> What's good, man? What's happening? Hey, I told, I, you know, when I told Turn, I said, man, I got to get you in here, man. Because every time I talk to anybody about anything, this man name come up. So I guess that make you the hottest in the city, man. <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing something? Man. You got some kind, you know, you got some kind of movement going on, don't you? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot. I yeah. ain't gonna lie, it's Number a lot. Seven. But you know what I'm saying? It's just staying rock grounded. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The, the foundation was set properly. So you know what I'm saying? And everything had to be set up properly, properly for everything to go the way it's going. That's exactly what I want to ask you about, man. Uh, how did you, how did you get out there first and foremost? I got God, man. Yeah, yeah. I honestly, you know what I'm saying? Before, <laughs> before like the the fame and everything, I was sleeping in my car. Yeah. I mean, in a rental car, That's not crazy. even in my car, a rental. rental. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, my dad had rented me the car, mm -hmm. and it was like one fifty two hundred a week. So I was cash Ubering to pay it. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I was sleeping in the back way? of that bitch. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Cash Uber, you find a way. Yeah, man. so, you know what I'm saying? Make money. Cause I didn't want to work for nobody. Mm -hmm. Working for nobody wouldn't want to fuck me. So, so, so at that time, were you already into the music or you wasn't even in music at all? I love music, man. Yeah. I've been in music. Like, I, I was a gospel rapper. Yeah, gospel rapper. I was a gospel rapper at first. Okay, you know okay. what I'm saying? That's what it is. Man. Then my little brother got killed. Oh. You know what I'm saying? The church wasn't enough for me. Like, I wanted them to be. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I did what I had to do. So, so everybody who don't know, you started out as a gospel rapper. Yeah. That's a lot different, man. It's, right? I was 16 uh -huh. till I was 19. 19? Yeah, 19. So, so you, you don't you do not do any of that? You just sticking to DJing now? Huh? Yeah, I'm just DJing now. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm rapping a little bit now. A little bit? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. How, did you, how did you get into like the actual DJing then? From, from my daddy. Your dad? Yeah. Your dad did my, a my, my, my dad's a DJ. Oh, okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? But he's staying like president. Okay. And I didn't want to move the bridge. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I just, I was like, I want to be a rapper. And, yeah. I, and to be a rapper, it costs money. Like, yeah, rappers don't understand yeah. that. Like, I was broke, so I couldn't be no rapper. So I became a DJ. I mean, really, that's what the record labels do for you. Really, they, they, put, they put money behind you, right? Right. And, then, and then a lot of cats now, like, I want to be independent, but they don't realize the, the money. money it take, yeah, like, it ain't no hand out. Yeah. Okay, you know so your dad, your dad, he was doing like clubs, like what kind of DJ your dad was doing? Nah, he did like a lot of private parties. A lot of private parties. Like, so, you, so you learned how to do it actually from your dad? Yeah. Okay. Like, Dude, what's up, man? Shout out to Pops, man. He might be like, I love Pops. <laughs> and then, um, so when you got, when you first got out there DJing, where, where did you DJ? You were just doing parties too? Or how, no, I was doing $30 showcase, $25 showcase. I wasn't making nothing. Yeah. Oh, just, bro. Just trying to get your name out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. My first DJ, like, I was DJing for, like, J Real. Like, J Real, you know what I'm saying? Nothing wrong with J Real, just nothing but showcases. Yeah. I was meeting a whole bunch of local artists. Uh -huh. And they were jamming, but, like, you know what I'm saying? I wanted more. I wanted more than that. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. a whole bunch of freaking showcases. You got a hundred artists. Wow. You, you you barely DJ. You just playing music. You playing, playing music. Song, bring it in yeah, music. basically, you know what I'm saying. But and you say you're doing twenty thirty dollars, man. <laughs> twenty dollars, thirty dollars. If they if they don't make nothing, you go home with ten dollars. Wow. And you just gotta accept it at that point. You know what I'm saying? How you, old were you, you at that time? You were sixteen. Nah, this time I'm like twenty one. Twenty one. Oh I, man. I had uh, I had like two two little boys. Yeah, two three little boys. boys. I had three, three little, little boys, boys already. And like. But she she never put pressure on me like that. Yeah, that's what's up. Know what I'm saying? She we held it down. She held it down. I mean, like, and then you know what I'm saying? I met my own little girl mom. She yeah. gave me she gave me the laptop. That's what's up. She gave me HP. <laughs> she gave me a little HP like laptop. HP. You like, went to work. Yeah, yeah. I just you know what I'm saying. I, my I tried to audition at Goodies at the time. Mm -hmm. you no, know, little little script club. Yeah, yeah. The whole like twenty people. And they told me no. Oh I man. I wasn't good enough. I'm like damn. That's crazy. And I cried, I cried, uh -huh. I cried, real shit, I cried. I'm like, man, what the fuck? I'm like, what the fuck? Hey, I man. Fuck this happened. Like, yeah. come on, man. You were ready, too. You had a laptop, you were ready, and they told you. Right, I'm man. not good enough. And I'm like, damn, I went to Sky, uh -huh. 1828. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit, I was, man, nobody gave me shit. Club. Nobody gave a shot. Nobody. Then, my homeboy, Byron Pringle, he went to the NFL. Gotcha. And when he went to the NFL, 
No, so I was just excited for him. Yeah. I pulled up on him on accident. Actually, I didn't know he was there. But he stayed behind my grandma old house and I was gotcha. passing by and I said like, Yo bro, yo man, I'm so proud of you dog, what's up? And I was just so happy for him. Yeah. And um because the the lifestyle he was living before mm-hmm. he made it to the NFL, he was like into the streets real heavy. Mm-hmm. So I was just happy for my homeboy. Yeah. And I seen a three wheeler. Mm. Sitting outside yeah, yeah, with yeah. music on it. <laughs> I was like, hey, let me plug up my DJ. Let's have a little fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I want to think about going viral. You know crazy. what I'm saying? And the video, they just start recording me. And I like attention. So I was dancing, having yeah. fun. <laughs> and that's thing, you know, I go on Instagram and everybody done tagged me. Wow. And it's like, I'm getting all these new followers and all this. New, I'm like, what though? That's crazy. Well, so then that's when. Them same clubs start calling. How how did you feel about that though? Be honest. <laughs> I know you had to feel some kind of way, man. I felt like, you know what I'm saying? My time was here. Yeah. I felt like if it was given to me, I wouldn't have respected it as much. Gotcha. You had, Honestly, you had, you had to work for it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You 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 cherish it more when you earn it. That's what's up, man. You know what I'm saying when shit when if I meet you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I go through you to get to the next person. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? It ain't going to have the same effect gotcha. of me grinding and that next person seeing me grind to this shit. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? It ain't going to have the same grind, effect. Man, honestly, like you said, when you grind, you get a lot further. Man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because so, you got that hustling you. Right. You know so I, I started saying what the Instagram could do. And my teeth was messed up underneath my goal. I had goals at the time. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I, remember I was ashamed of this shit. Yeah. And then I lost my goals in the event. Mm. I had I was at Green Gators. I lost my fucking goals. I was like, what the fuck? I lost oh, my goals. Man. So you had to show so my teeth. I had to show my teeth. <laughs> and the views went up. And I just began, like, the thing about God, like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, fuck it. Let's, let's go with it. If it's getting, it's making me more money, yeah. why not? You know what I'm saying? Put my personal feelings aside. You know what I'm saying? Then That's that, tough, man. yeah. What then the big BB video went on. You know what I'm saying? I, I was going local. Like it's a difference between going local and VB. Gotcha. You feel me? Local, the city know. Mm-hmm. BB, the world know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What's so, up, man? so I had my first worldwide video. It hit like 24 million. That's crazy. With my teeth, and I was singing to a girl, and it just hit. And my life would change. Like, Pleasure P reached out to me, got my teeth fixed. You know what I'm saying? Up? What's and, up? Things just took off. Yeah. I was another little bite. And, and since then, you pretty much just been grinding. Grinding. You know what I'm saying? Like, once the TV got fixed, it was harder really? to keep the people's attention. That's crazy. Because you know now I ain't got nothing to laugh at. So now, you know what I'm saying? It's all about you got to step on the gas even harder. Because before I could just make a video and that bitch is going to hit. Because, you know what saying? Was because kinda, they, they, they tuned the into the T. That's crazy. But now that the T fits, now I have to brand it. I have to brand myself. I have to stay moving. I got to do skits. I got to do different things man, to keep it that's moving. That's a crazy story, man. Yeah. Like, you know, I, I heard a lot of stuff, man, but for you to go viral because of your teeth mm-hmm. being bad, ain't that crazy? Yeah. And I, now, I now you got to work harder that you're going to got to fix. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But yeah. I, I take it in scribe. You feel yeah. me? Like, mm-hmm. no, more new things brings in new responsibility. You feel me? True. So that's why you just got to just keep going. Like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, they fit. Mm-hmm. Can I what now? Boom. Yeah, yeah. You got to take it. I got to still keep these. Uh, it's been two years since I got my teeth fit. Yeah. And I'm still relevant. Yeah. So, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I mean, like I said, I, I've been hearing about you, so you're doing something right, man. But. You know, your name come up a lot, man. So, um, in the city right now, um, it's a lot of DJs, man. Like, how, how do you, how do you separate yourself from the rest of the DJs? You know what I'm doing what I'm doing. None of them out here doing skits. Mm-hmm. Or out here on air mattresses, trying to keep these people entertained outside of the club. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? They just, they go to work, they push play. And then they leave. Get then they check. leave, they get their check, and they leave. It's bigger than that. For so you're more of an entertainer then? Yeah, I'm an entertainer. Okay. I, you know what I'm saying? Now I can rap. I got okay. 24,000 followers. Now, so now I got a voice. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Now I got a platform to rap. No, yeah. Now I got a platform to act, yeah. direct. Whatever I want to do, I can do it because I have a platform I built upon yeah. doing it. Like, a lot of these DJs not doing that. Yeah, they, right. they, they settle for, for the DJ. 200 yeah. the $200 check, the 250 mm-hmm. check. Nah, I need 1000 Man, listen, 
the thing that's crazy too, speaking of all of this, you got you got a you got a film in the movie theater. <laughs> <laughs> the life of Turn, man, the life of DJ Turn. Yep, yeah, that like, it the the movie uh -huh. like I, it was thought of before the teeth got done. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? And it was capitalized after the teeth got done. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, we always talk about it. We always, we always, we always, I was on the management at the time. Mm -hmm. And um, the manager wanted, like, rights, I guess, to, to the film. Yeah. And the director didn't want that. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, it got stuck there mm -hmm. for a minute. That's the whole reason why the video went viral. Because I was, like, promoting... A TV show that I was about to do with my teeth fucked up, yeah. a whole bunch of girls, you know what I'm saying, come apart gotcha. it. You feel me? But then, like, the shit didn't work out. <laughs> well, I'm, you know. You know what I'm saying? So then, after I got out the deal, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying, the, the director came back to me, like, I see your teeth fixed now, so what you want to do? I was like, that was just God, like, lining everything up yeah. into where it needed to be. And we shot like a year ago. It feels like the meat would have been out a year ago. Gotcha, gotcha. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, what the fuck, bro? You know what I'm saying? We had all this content we had them worked on, and nothing else got done with it. You know what I'm saying? So we had to record everything, and we only released two episodes. And so some shit happened with my director that he couldn't even finish the, the shit up. Yeah. So I'm like, what the fuck, bro? I need this. Yeah, everything yeah. going wrong. So I'm like... I got two episodes out. These two episodes that hit over 10K on YouTube. Gotcha. So I know these yeah. people want more of this yeah. of this shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So uh -huh. I know what it did. It went BB. So I'm like, man, what the fuck is the hold up? Yeah. So, but <laughs> in God's time and like, when, when we look at it, not in our time, but God's time, I, I didn't know a year later. I didn't know he was working on the film. Uh -huh. He came with one of my lives and was like, are we going to the movie theater with wow. you? <laughs> you was like, man, stop playing with me. <laughs> so I, I went to his house. No, mm -hmm. I went to his little, little studio. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I watched it. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, you know he was working on. It. He got it done. The whole thing done. And then he was like, oh, I, I reached out to the movie theater. Yeah. And we in there. I'm like, what? That's man, crazy. stop playing with me. He sent me a screenshot of everything. I was like, man, no <laughs> way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So prices was able to go up because of that. You know what I'm saying? So. How many DJ? How many entertainers? Period. Got a movie in theater. Man, how many people? Entertainers, rappers, anything got a, you know, you know what I'm saying? Right. Even the actors. Right. The actors in the city ain't even in the theater. You right. me? Come on, now. Like you know that, it's that's, all that's, God that's coming. Level, man. Like, hey, that, that, you know that's one thing I noticed you say a lot, man. Is God and really, I think that's what it is, man. Because it's like you know, you humble. You know what I'm saying? You 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 take what you got and you work with it. Yo, and you keep going. We got to. So that's definitely God, man, and it's good that we you got you to. acknowledge that. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people would like to realize, mm -hmm. like, think that they doing stuff, and, and and they don't got God, and that's why they ain't getting. Man, you, it's you know everything, saying? man. Everything is on God's time. Like, you know what I'm saying? But Sosa, mm -hmm. God's time. Gotcha. L.A. Mm -hmm. God's time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, everybody, you just gotta wait till God call you for. You feel me? If, if, if this really meant for you, what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And you put that work ethic mm -hmm. behind faith, and you know where you headed. Yeah. You, I know I'm going to be rich one day. I know it's this coming. stuff's going to happen. Yeah. You just gotta wait. You gotta be patient. You gotta be patient. I didn't. If we would have released it a year ago, it wouldn't have did what it's gonna do now. It wouldn't have been in theaters today. Yeah. You feel me? Right. If we would have released it back then in three, four mm -hmm. episodes, it would have just been on YouTube. Or it would have been on YouTube yeah. and praying for somebody to catch it. Gotcha. But now we going to Dallas. You know what I'm saying? I've seen that. Yeah, not not things that are transitioning. It's all yeah. about like I said, God's timing, man, not my time. Like if it was up to me, shit would have been done. That's what's up. You know man. what I'm saying? But you're doing it at the right time because you know really timing is everything, man. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people who miss their time, there's a lot of people who time haven't come yet. Right. You know, and sometimes people give up before their time come. And you could have easily did that. You know what I'm saying? I can't give up. I got with too your many obstacles, kids. I'm saying, but with the obstacles, you could easily like, I'm just gonna give me a job. I'm finna go. Go for these kids. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But but you but you knew your time was coming. You stuck with it. You know what I'm saying? That's what's got up, to. man. So so as far as uh being a DJ, how do you like? How do you deal with like all these artists? Like, hey man, play my music, and then when you won't play it, they be like, man, he flaw, he this, he that. I don't. It's a business. Yeah. You want you want walking in the rain with me. You wasn't crawling and storming with me. Yeah. So so what the fuck I'm finna 
Yeah. Use this platform. God done gave me to feed my kids, to yeah. feed you for free. Yeah. It's a business. It is definitely a business. Man. It's a business. This is a business. This is how Which I, I'm this sure how I eat. I'm sure you get it, though, because I know we live in a city where everybody, oh, the DJs only play certain people. They only nah, show nah. love to certain people. But social wasn't in the club before the pandemic. Yeah. LA wasn't in no club before the pandemic. Nobody playing their music. Yeah. Ron Dollar wasn't getting played in no club. It was, yeah. It's day time. Yeah. It's day time. Also, wasn't getting played. I didn't know who Oso was before a pandemic. <laughs> I man. fought with him. Yeah, yeah. Once I heard him, I knew he was the shit. Same thing here. I interviewed him when, when I first heard him. Right. I knew. I had, I had to. You know what I'm saying? I had to jump on this. You mm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. These, these, these men made it with Dollar Club. Yeah, they did. These men made it with Dollar Club. Yeah. It was the club. It's social media. And, and that's why my brand is so important. You can, you know what I'm saying? You got to you gotta work that social media. If you can pop on social media, you can pop on anything. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Everything starts with social media, even with rappers. Yeah. You can be the best rapper in the world with no platform. You're shit. Yeah. I can come to you and spit the hottest 16 in the fucking world. But guess what? <laughs> they ain't got no platform. But I mean, like, I'm going to go into that, too, because I don't know I mean. Like, social media is definitely probably, like, your number one, you know, outlet. But you, you still got to have street fame. The way I see it, you still got to be out there. Mm-hmm. You can't just be sitting behind a computer all day, every day, and, and putting music up, putting videos up. You got to you gotta be out there. In a way, yeah. Your face got to be good, too, I feel like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Even oh, if yeah. you ain't doing shows, you just got to be out there. Yeah, yeah, you got to. You definitely, you definitely gotta be out there. You know what I'm saying? The public eye. You gotta, you gotta be seen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be seen. Of course. Cause I, Cause I see a lot of people like that. Just think that only Instagram they gonna blow up and that's it. They don't, they don't do nothing. Mm, no, on top of that, it's a big part of it. It's a yeah. No, I said, it's, 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 it's a big like, part. It's but an eighty-five. Still, I said eighty-five percent. I, I, I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna say by my opinion, seventy-five. Yeah, seventy-five. Cause I think you need that twenty-five percent where you gotta grind. You can't just do it like that, bro. I that's mean, my opinion. I mean, I look at all the, the songs that's blowing up right now. Mm-hmm. Where it blow up at first? Someone blow up in the streets, though. Everything blow up online first. I don't you know, got, man. You got to think like this. Um, I guess it just depends on where you are, too, though. Right, right. But see, a temple, Yeah. it's by Instagram, man. Yeah. Does it? I think it depends on where you are. Because when I like, travel... Uh, Drake, yeah. in your feelings. Mm-hmm. When the song came out, the dance came out first. Then he, 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 he love me. Everybody started doing the dance. Yeah. Then he released the song. Yeah. No, yeah, City I, Girls, Pussy Talk, what yeah, else? Yeah. Sit, sit, all that shit. Hit Instagram first. I do mean, a like, challenge. Da, 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 da. Everybody follow the trend. Like I say, definitely that's that's one of the major uh, outlets, but you still got to be out there if you ask me. Because yeah, I can. mean, like, I've seen people who hot online, and they hot right now, but nobody still don't know them. Like who? It's just a, I mean, I don't want to put nobody's name out there. Oh, okay, okay. There's okay. people out there right now who got, you know, who got a lot of followers. They online. Cause this uh, what I, I, I know who. I, I, I got one. I got I'm one. Okay, t- I said, I know you're I'm going to tell you what I learned. I learned in this game because I, I started doing this back in 2007, 2008, around that time. Right. What I learned is that, like, you know, first and foremost, you got to grind. Mm-hmm. Definitely. You got to put work in and you got to spend money. Okay. Right? Like you said, you can't just, you can't just do, everybody not going to make it the same exact way. Mm-hmm. This man might make it on social media. This man might make it on YouTube. He might make it trying to be funny. Everybody making a different way. Sometimes you just want to be the right person. You know what I'm saying? So I think that it's a lot of variables, but I do definitely think that social media plays a major role. Okay. And I do think it's a lot of variables because I've seen people who didn't really have a social media platform. They bumped to the right people. They endorsed them. They went from 3,000 followers to 30,000 followers. Okay. So I'm saying, whereas... They didn't get known from being on Instagram, so I think that like everybody got a different story to tell. Everybody got a different right, way right. gonna make right. it. But but at the end of the day, I learned the hard way. You gotta have Instagram. I learned it the hard way because before I was doing street fame years, but it's like a lot of people kept saying you gotta get Instagram, and I kept saying no, I don't need that because I was getting known. Like when I go places, people know me, mm-hmm. but I'm only touching a certain audience. Right, you, you feel t- me? Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, once I got on Instagram, it's like, ever since then, I'm touching the whole world. You feel me? Like, it, it's people all over the world, brother. They can see you now. You see what I'm saying? Whereas, whereas, like, before, it was like, people knew me in the city. People knew me in the state. People knew me here. To, 
But now, now with the platform, definitely, I'm like, I'm working Instagram hard. That's why I got 23,000 followers. Right. Because I've been on that grind, you feel me? Right, you got and I'm you. on a, I'm on that constantly trying to, you know what I'm saying, get build. my numbers up. That's all I be on there doing. You know what I'm saying? You got to build it. So uh, that's definitely the move. But um, what's next for Turn, man? Like, I know you say you, you about to start making music. Yeah, I, I actually inserted all my music mm-hmm. into my film. Okay. And I said, so a lot of I, like eighty five, probably ninety percent of the music on on my movie mm-hmm. is me. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's up, man. So you got your own soundtrack. <laughs> that, I mean, it's, it's your life, so I mean, it only that, you know what I'm saying? So so what? Uh, if, if they, I guess, is it still in the movies now? Nah, nah, no. Nah. So uh, how can you we, see it? Well, we're going to Dallas next. Like once once I finish promoting it in the theater, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and release it on YouTube. Okay. So right now. Dallas is next. This that, part that of the is, movie. Yeah, Dallas, and Dallas, after Dallas. that, you know, y'all y'all gotta be on the lookout for that. Yeah, we, we, I'm I'm undecided whether I'm gonna take it to an, like it, another, another yeah, spot after that. Another spot. It Texas only, is definitely it, where yeah, that. Yeah, it, I didn't realize Texas was fucking with me like that yeah. until they was like, "Yo, we got, y'all gotta bring it to Houston. Y'all gotta bring it to Houston." Oh, and I looked up Studio Movie Grill in Houston. I'm like, I, "It's the same company that's here in Tampa." Gotcha. So boom, just. Uh, that's what's up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's I, a major play. Yeah, yeah. That's a major play. I know I know the pandemic probably slowed things down a little bit too, right? Yeah, actually sped it up for me. Yeah. Some people, I mean, some people got the bag. Some people, you know. No, it ain't even about the bag. I'm talking about you. I'm talking, oh. about, I'm talking about some people been having a good time. Like, they've been working out for them. I mean, with me, what it did for me, the, pan- the pandemic really, it, um... It, it allowed me to spend time with my kids. Yeah, number time one. Is important, definitely. You know what I'm saying? I, I got a better bond with my children because of and it. And that's bigger than everything you did. Yeah. To be honest with you, you know. What yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. I was able to do real good connect with my babies. That's you know what I'm saying? Up. Number two, I was able to build my new team. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? To they get would sit back and kind of see who, who see who around me. I got to really see who who I fuck with. Gotcha. No, I'm saying who really around me. Okay, no, I'm saying um, my team is new to me. No, I'm saying Cause we new around each other. So I think that pandemic really allowed us to get to know one another. Gotcha. Because we stuck in the house together. Yeah. So no, you know I'm saying no we live together. So we yeah. really have no choice but to really learn each other. No, I'm saying so the pandemic really, I believe, brought me and my team together. And now we now that's back opening up, we it's can. Time to run, okay. Now they under, now know what I'm saying before the pandemic, my homeboy went step foot in the know what I'm saying gay club, mm-hmm. or no step foot go. He was like, well, I ain't going to no fucking club. Mm-hmm. Know what I'm saying? But now he faithfully he like, damn, you people ain't that bad. Yeah. Know what I'm saying? These people, it's not wrong with these people. Yeah. You feel? I had to tell you a lot, show him like, bro, look, man, these people just like us. They just wanna have fun. You know what I'm saying? And they have fun themselves. Yeah. We hang, you know what I'm saying? We make it that bad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I, we learned each other and we they learned. You know what I'm saying? That's how I was able to do the Hot Boy concert and everything yeah, we done. Up. I mean, when it's, when it's business, man, it don't matter what people do. That's exactly. Because, I, I mean, you know, I had to learn that too. I mean, <laughs> it's all a learned experience because, um, you know, like, even on Instagram, right? Right. You got a whole community. Mm-hmm. The, the rainbow community or whatever you want right. to call them. LGT. And, and the thing was, they started following me, and I was like, man, I don't know if I want to follow them back. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. just how I felt, but I was like, at the same time, they running my numbers up, so yeah, I, know, I, I know I'm content with what I do. Believe it or not, you me? My, my first gig was free. I, I was doing free, I was DJing for free mm-hmm. at Sky on Tuesdays. And they were like, why the fuck would you do a gig? <laughs> why would you DJ for free at Sky on Tuesdays? First Tuesday, they got like six, seven hundred people in them. Gotcha. I don't get the DJ in front of six, seven hundred people on the regular. Gotcha. At that time. Gotcha. Know what I'm saying? So I'm like, if I can turn them up, I can turn up anybody. So I'm practicing. Yeah. I'm got them saying, I'm like, okay, I'm learning this shit. <laughs> boom, boom. I'm killing it. Yeah. And I'm like, they ain't judging me and I ain't judging For them real. shit. Yeah. Let's do it. Now I'm on the mic talking to them and all. Like, let's turn up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? Now I'm getting paid for it. Yeah. Now, now I got that night period. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? So like, like they, 
Like, they just like regular people. No, I, they are regular people. I mean, yeah. I get what you're saying. It's just like, you know. You know what I'm saying? I can't, like, me personally, I feel like what you do in your bedroom ain't my business. Exactly. That That's your getting, business. That's what I was getting at. <laughs> See, I know what I do because, I, I mean, I, I, you know, when I be moving around a lot. I be seeing people that's gay artists. Mm -hmm. And I take pictures of a lot of people to show people that I'm connected. So when I run into him, I'm like, that man, whatever that man do with his life, that's his life. Yeah, that's me. You feel me? Ain't got I ain't going home with him. I'm going home. Shit, no, I'm going home. I'm going home. My wife, my girl. I'm doing that for. So, like, I mean, I understand that, but that's definitely a, a, a good move, man, and a good way to look at it, man, because you know, there's a lot of people would never, like you said, step foot into that kind of situation. Was, man, if it made money, it made sense. Definitely. You know, who gonna all the straight people gonna feed my kids? <laughs> See where, where y'all at? <laughs> Let me know what's up. Put your cash out about this. Right, shit. <laughs> Cause my daughter gotta eat, and then cause God calling on that tooth tonight. I'm there. Cause she, well, I'm gonna say, baby, you can't eat tonight because no, they gay. They gay. I can't go there. I can't feed you. I can't. Man, come on, man. That what's up, man. Yeah. So uh, right now, you say you're working on that. Uh, you're taking the movie to Dallas. You uh, you working on your music? Yeah, and uh, you know what I'm saying I'm working on some more films. Okay. That movie the other really. Like, yeah, inspired. Yeah, you, got you, you got them doors open for you. Yeah. Got your mind wide open, right? You ready? Right. Oh, yeah. You know what's up, man? Oh, yeah. You want to give a shout out to anybody, man? Or, you know? Um, My kids, man. Up, man? All, all my babies, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot of kids. <laughs> How many is a lot? I got six in one of them. Yeah, that's right a lot of kids. Yeah, man. I got a lot of kids right there. Hey, as long as you're taking care of them, man. Yeah, oh, yeah, man. I love, I love children. Like, I always say, man. Don't. I be seeing you on your Instagram with your kids. Yeah, man. man I love kids. As long you feel me? Care. Like, they're my babies. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, as long as you're taking care of your kids, man. Right. That's... And we're going to be rich soon. Yeah. No, all my baby mamas. No, so I got three of them. Okay, so, you know what I'm saying? All of them. Um, shout out to Zane. You know what I'm saying? My whole squad. James, Keem. You know what I'm saying? The hot boy. The hot, uh, Apply Pressure. You know what I'm saying? The, the hot boy experience was the deal. That was up, man. That was my first concert I threw. Gotcha. I threw a concert myself. That was up, man. You know what I'm saying? So, that was a big move. That, that helped prices go up, too. Yeah. Like, since the hot boy really... Shit change like you know what I'm saying they coming correct with the numbers. Yo, every play you make, man, you make yeah. the right plays, man, and you patient and you got your faith in God, so you can't go wrong. You feel me? Right. You can't go wrong, bro. When God behind you, can't go wrong. So I mean, that was something, man. Um, for the people who who might be looking at this who don't know, go ahead and get your Instagram. Go ahead and you um, know, know what it is. Ah, uh, it's your boy DJ Turn. Mm -hmm. My Instagram is I'm just DJ Turn, and um, I. I want to tell you how I came up with the name. Oh, okay. How you came up with the name? I um I was at the Usher concert. I'm a big, huge Usher fan. I'm in the that's that's why I'm so big into entertainment. Gotcha, gotcha. And um it came across the screen. My, my my baby mom was pregnant with my daughter, and before he came, it was the um national championship when he was here downtown. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. I remember and that. um it came on screen and said, "I'm just Usher," and I was like, "Damn." <laughs> <laughs> That's mine. I was just DJ Turn. And I changed my Instagram name right then. Right and then. Been that, it's been there ever since. I'm, I'm, that I'm up, just man. DJ Turn. It's Shout only out to Usher, me. man. Yeah, right back, man. Right man. Yeah, what's and, up, man? Anything else you want to give him? Nah, that's it. All right, man. Y'all heard it from DJ Turn himself. <laughs> yeah. I am just DJ Turn. Street fame forever. Y'all already know. Make yeah. sure y'all check this out. Subscribe, like, comment. It's going to be on YouTube. And I'm going to have a lot of on Instagram. So make sure you too. Did that.